Hi, my name is Connor Lee Shaw. I'm a composer with MCI. And this week we're doing composer spotlights for those of us whose works will be featured at the 2020 NASA conference. This year I have the distinct pleasure of saxophonist Dan Phipps playing my piece, Exo Resonant for Alto Sax and Electronics. This piece has three different parts to it. The first part is a repeated piano note that continues throughout the entire piece. Now this is influenced and inspired by the Voyager 2 spacecraft that was sent out in the 1970s and famously pioneered by Carl Sagan. This spacecraft has now reached interstellar space millions of miles away from Earth, but still remains sending a ping back to Earth at regular intervals. Um, now eventually this will stop, but it still persists to this day, and it's amazing to think that this craft going 10 miles a second is still able to communicate with us in the most distant reaches of our human imagination. The second component of the piece um, involves um, my thoughts regarding the recent discovery of exoplanets outside of Earth. Astronomers recently have been finding hundreds of planets in our galaxy that are revolving around distant stars. Now these planets range from anything that, uh, anything from Jupiter-like planets all the way to planets that potentially are able to sustain carbon-based life as we know it like on Earth. Um, and so depending on the exoplanets we find, um, we, seem, we tend to change our perspective on what's actually out there. So this element I tried to capture in harmony. So in the piece, there were five different harmonies that occur, and each one represents a different kind of exoplanet. Now, it was somewhat arbitrary, but obviously the more dissonant the harmony, uh, the less likely this harmony or what it was representing as an exoplanet would be to sustain life. Now, the third part of this is that is the idea of improvisation. So for some of these harmonies, the saxophone player doesn't have written music and is said and asked to improvise. Um, now this improvisation to me represents the ways in which we project ourselves and what we know onto the galaxy. So to think that um, despite our scientific progress in determining what these planets may actually look like, um, really we are just projecting a lot onto what is out there because we can't actually go and see that ourselves. So uh, the, next, uh, the next portion I wanna talk about in regards to this piece is some of the challenges with writing. <clears throat> Anytime you're writing for electronics and a live musician, there's a lot of mixing and there's a lot of editing that goes on because especially with fixed media or a track that does not change. So. Um, there are a lot of interactions between the composer and the electronics that are quite difficult to get down. And so even after hearing this played several times, I was still doing different mixes of it just to make sure that what the player was um, hearing and what the player was doing along with the track were really meshing correctly. Um, what I was striving to kind of convey to audience in this, audiences in this piece is that really despite all of our efforts and our progress to know what's out there, we really don't. And in some ways this can be really um, sad and really lonely and desperate, but in other ways it's quite beautiful because it means we have years and years of discovering to go if we're able to uh, sustain our civilization. Um, and also that um, those things out there that we don't know yet are probably more beautiful than we can imagine and it's silly and almost pointless to try to project what it could actually be, even though that's kind of where the human imagination goes. Um, and yeah, that is my composer spotlight. And I hope if you're attending the NASA conference this year and you happen to be in the clinic room where Dan is playing, I hope that you enjoy my piece, Exo Resident. Thank you.